So what we're going to do now is look at extracting to a spreadsheet. So I've got a drawing open, extracting to a spreadsheet complete. If you want to follow along with the video, you need to open up extracting to a spreadsheet.dwg from your working files. We're going to utilize the same technique that we used in the last video, but we're going to set the DXE file settings to purely extract data to a spreadsheet only, rather than to a table like in the last video. So we go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, linking an extraction panel and the Extract Data Wizard like so. We're going to use a previous extraction as a template. So when I click on the button there, I'll use the one that we used in the previous video purely for tables, and I'll click on Open. I then click on Next, and it asks me to save that data extraction. I'm going to save it in a similar name format to the previous one, only this time it will be Extraction 4 and it will be rooms and people, but I'm going to lose the table suffix there and put XLS and save like so. So that saves that file. Remember to check your settings as well. They'll have come across from the DXE file as well. And then we need to select the objects in the current drawing. Now I know we have to do this over and over again, but that's just the way it works in this particular setup. Obviously, like I've said before, utilize your layers so that you can see what you need to select. There isn't a lot to select on this drawing, so I'm just doing it manually right now. It's a little bit easier and a little bit quicker. So I'm just working my way around the drawing, selecting, using crossing selection, all of the room and people space planning data. I press Enter to confirm. That comes up on the screen. I click on Next. Remember, we don't need attribute definition. That should be unticked. We want SP employee, SP room, and then click on Next. As you can see, all the ticks are in place here on the properties and the category filters are already set because we're using an existing DXE file as a template. So I can click on next again. That'll extract and there's all my data in the table all set and ready to go. Now, like I said previously in previous videos, you can right click and edit your columns, your formulas and so on. That is just like an Excel spreadsheet. So you can utilize the right hand shortcut menu to edit any information. Click on next again. This time though, I'm going to tick this one and untick this one. Make sure you set the right location for your XLS file. So this is going to go into my number six there, extracting data and into my drawings folder. And I'm going to just click on that one there and utilize the existing file name, but I'm going to change it now to this. So it's going to be extraction 004 rooms and people and i will put a dash xls like so even though it's already got an xls file suffix now remember you need to set it as an xls file only so that's all set so extraction 004 i click on save that's ready to go i click on next now all i do is i click on finish so that's extracted that data to an excel spreadsheet no table this time the table is already in the drawing it's already over here in the a1 ground floor layout but the Excel spreadsheet is in my folder here. So now if I look at the information in here, I need to look for an XLS file. So let's have a scroll down to the bottom and there it is there. So if I double click that now, that'll open up in Excel and there's all my information there. Now I did have a blank Excel spreadsheet behind that. Can you see that there? That can actually be closed, but I can go in and I can edit the data there. So that information there has gone out as a snapshot to an Excel spreadsheet. So I can now utilize that information if I need to. Now it's not linked to the Excel spreadsheet. So I can't just go and edit some information here, hoping it will edit in the drawing. That won't happen. We do have a section on this course though, where we look at data linking and how we can link Excel spreadsheets back to the drawing. So that's how you extract to a spreadsheet only. So I can close this file now. That's all done. I can obviously minimize that back to my taskbar. And that's how you extract to a spreadsheet, taking your data from your space planning drawing straight into an Excel spreadsheet ready to be used.